Welcome back to another day on the Lorcana Pixelborn client. Today we're going to be doing uh, Emerald Sapphire, a reiteration of our Not All There Meta Destroyer deck. Uh, so the things that seem to stand out to me. Big Aurora was a... Uh, it's fun. I like Ward, but it didn't feel like it was really progressing the game plan. So I took out all of our Big Auroras and brought Genie and Mickey up to four copies. I also took out our two Hades and brought in four copies of the John Silver. So we're still a 60 card deck. I'm just leaning a little bit more heavily on bouncing my opponent and preventing my opponent from questing while developing bodies on the field. Uh, we are giving up a potential turn three Aurora shift into singing Let It Go, which could be strong. Uh, but let's jump in there and see if we can't pick up a few games. Aw, go in second. I mean, I got my curve, but... Hmm, Cusco might be worth holding on to, inking the rest. Okay, I don't need double Cusco. Well, let's see if we can make double Cusco do the thing. Steal. So I do like Cusco for that. Can't be targeted. I don't mind a, a stalemate here. I would imagine he plays Prince Eric. Oh, he's also an Emerald. Okay. I don't mind trading a Duke with the Captain Hook here. If I'm being honest, I'll probably save it for Flynn. Goes a beast. Tinkerbell. Alright, do I have to respect a Tinkerbell? Probably. Let's see if I run out the Cheshire Cat and they got a Tinkerbell and the swords. It's kind of a big deal. Maybe saving the cat here. Uh, alternatively, if I quest and they don't got big tank. Then I'm also in trouble. If I only quest with one, they got big tank. They can take one down and blow up the other one. If I stay up, they have to tank and swords. Alright. I'll make them have to play out everything to get what they want. Bouncy deck, huh? Mickey Mouse is nice. I think I'm playing Mickey Mouse basically no matter what here. Alright, now we can play all of our big stuff. See, they're still on a shift tank and swords. It's only three damage to Cusco. Might be exactly what we need. We don't necessarily want to go into these long games. We need to figure out how to get out from under this. If I at least get Cusco down, he'll be able to sing next turn. And if they do got a big board by plan, this might draw it out. Prince Eric and Captain Hook, man. Hmm. Do I let it go on the Prince Eric here?
Man, that was a big decision point for him. They're getting rid of all this recursion. If they have this, they have to have, uh, the do it against in Blade of Tremaine. They gotta have whole new world. That's what they're digging for. Does not matter, does it? Can't target the Cusco. And the tanks just have the abilities. And the other two want to attack. Debating if I need to use this, let it go. Well, if I use the let it go, get rid of the Prince Eric. They definitely want to attack, right? First with Tink and then Captain Hook. Take down the Cusco. Hmm. I think I can wait. I'm gonna quest. I'm gonna force my opponent to attack because I know they want to. I'm not gonna bank on them playing a whole new world. They still have to draw it. I'm pretty sure they still need to draw it. Plus if my hand gets low and empty. They won't feel inclined to do so. Gotta imagine that Tinkerbell's gonna take the two damage here. No. They are not focused on Cusco. Alright, well two damage on Prince Eric is still good. I'd love to see him attack with Captain Hook first, but that's kind of Christmas land. I gotta imagine they're gonna use Prince Eric and Captain Hook to take down the other guys first, right? Are you gonna attack Flynn and discard your last card? That's... That's interesting. Well, looks like they're going to do it. Captain Hook ta safely takes down a Mickey Mouse. Oh, Cusco's going to get in the fray. Interesting. Ooh, I might be the thing that wins here. Let's see, if I develop another Kuso and I quest, I can keep Beast from questing with John Silver. Uh, let's see, I will gain 5, go to 13, then they can pretty much effectively deal with both my characters. If I get rid of Beast... Probably do need to think about clearing out their board. Taking out the two big attackers and singing Let It Go. Let's do that. Nervous about the Tinkerbells. A lot of card siphon. Captain Hook's gotta go because it's a one shot on Cusco. Would have loved to have gotten rid of the Tinks though because they're gonna get a look at the top three cards that are decked this turn. Opting for the Cerberus, not bad. This all of a sudden just became probably important. Getting stuck on mana, but I really want to keep everything. Let's see. Service quest for one, right? Yep. I could defeat both the Tinkerbells. Probably defeat the Cusco, honestly. Trade Cusco's. Defeat a Tinkerbell. Set up a Tinkerbell. Service will be on at least one more damage after that. That makes me want to set up Mickey Mouse. Let's do it. Let's go Mickey Mouse. 
I'm struggling on my ink anyway. All right, who's goes trade? I could develop another Tinkerbell right now, but this, this is going to be really important, I think. Would they trade a Tinkerbell to keep Cerberus alive, or are they going to trade Cerberus for both my characters? That's what I thought. They're really getting their use out of that filter ability. Okay, cat's not so bad. All right, Cerberus down. Playing a Flynn instead of this Fates. That way I'm in this race. Oof, that Mad Hatter makes things challenging. Alright, to stay in the race, I have to play Crusco. And Flounder doesn't hurt. Alright. We're in full on race mode. I have plus eight, so they have to do something. It's easy enough to take out the Flynn. Ooh, that means Mad Hatter has to attack the Flynn. They sang it. They're still at seven. They sang it. But now they can't attack me. They need actual removal. But they're in steel. Brings them up to eight. It's possible race mode is over because of the hand refill. Yeah. Oh, that's brutal. <laughs> that hurts. All right, I'm going to imagine we're going to see a really big Tinkerbell here. So we're going to lose our board. So I'm questioning. Let's just put me in lethal range, huh? Where all my threats are threatening. And let's do the big butt since they're a damaging base deck. Thank you, Mouse is purely just so we can have more plays next time. All right, Maleficent's the real challenge here. They need to be able to do six damage to it. So that's big tank, singing of swords, plus a smash. It's not impossible for him to do. Big tank, check to step one. Sing the swords. Bounce the Maleficent. You gonna attack that Cusco? With little tank, right? Yep. Instead of big tank to clear up the damp the point. And quest for three. You still gonna sing a song? Quest for two more. They're on plus seven, but we do have John Silver. Just looking like a mandatory play. Oh, I don't got enough. I can't I can't play him and sing this. Or play this rather. Alright, let's maximize. Play John Silver. I stopped him getting three on the Mad Hatter. There's only on plus four. 
what else can I do? I'll have four I can work with. I can play Tinkerbell. Do I ink or do I quest rather? I do open myself up to Tinkerbell attacking. And then the two damage going somewhere. Play another Tinkerbell, I'm in trouble, so maybe I'm not questing. Alright. Alright, John Silver's here. Huge to keep me alive! Alright, now we're not gonna give Tinkerbell the opportunity to sly in some damage. They're gonna have to play other damaging spells. Which I wouldn't put it past them, they're in steel. John Silver, though, it's going to be a headache. They've used one sword. Yeah, okay. One sword and one song. Or one song. One uh, whole new world. Two smashes for my opponent. Oh, we just top decked victory. Okay, <laughs> we won. We won. But let's just see. What else would I have done if I didn't have that? Obviously, let it go hit something. Probably the Mad Hatter since can't attack it. John Silver would have to attack for quest. We quest it. I think we would have lost. We didn't draw the side of the fates right here. I think we would have lost. But we don't lose. <laughs> Going first! Okay. You'll understand my excitement if you watched yesterday's video. <laughs> Going first is kind of a big deal. Let's see, his hand is wildly too expensive. I do have a curve. Two, three, four, five. Going to Genie. Maybe I will hold on to the Genie. Maybe we're just inking everything else. You know what? Let's give it a go. Okay. What do we got, opponent? Ruby with an Aladdin. Is this Ruby Amethyst Control? Probably. If that's the case, then I might want... They're gonna blow our stuff out of the sky anyway, so I probably want my four drops to be worth more. Show me the amethyst. There it is. There's the amethyst. We can probably expect a Rafiki. A big butt doesn't matter so much in this particular matchup. West. I think he would do the trick, but they would lose a card out of their hand. Making a Maleficent to play a Maleficent. Okay. It's not so much about removing their threats, it's about ramping as fast as ramping. It's about questing as fast as possible. Singing of friends. We still got the visual bug on the ink. I wish they would fix that. A double friends turn. Okay, they're digging hard. I think I'm just going for it here. The big butt doesn't matter. Not in this matchup. All right, are we gonna see some attacks and then a dragon fire or a Maui? I would, have, I would anticipate Maui, take down Hans, one of the two, discard a card for Flynn. 
Oh, we got the dragon fire. Okay. I said big butt doesn't matter in this one. Anything they can do to slow me down. I'm about to turn into every character is a lethal threat. See, we are going to go into turn six here. Gaining five. I think I just bounced the genie. Yeah, let's bounce with genie. Let's put the expensive one back in their hand. That way I got three threats. They only got one solid attack. It's two guys they have to deal with. How do they deal with two guys and two cards? They don't. We, yeah, we beat them before the beaver prepared. I mean, what, what can you do? Come on, second, always second. We did get a first today for the first time in like 30 games. Uh, well, I do got a little bit of a curve. Let's get rid of the let it go. Fills out my four drop. One, two, three, four, five, six. I have to draw nothing but gas from this point forward. Duke of Washington! <laughs> yeah, he'll be here, but I know, I know! You 100% of the time have Simba. I'd like to see you play Stitch, though. You have forgotten me, so you're gonna be challenging. Be careful about that. Play the, play the Simba. Oh, the Foo! Interesting. Oh, it's a cat. It's a condiment deck. Ketchup mustard. Okay. Now, their deck to me, I'm pretty sure it's not meant to be aggro Lilo, so that Lilo is very odd to see in that deck. I'll tell you what though, I 100% of the time would rather see a LeFou than a Simba follow up to that Lilo. Lilo's got to go. I think that's pretty simple. Yeah, Lilo did some work for him though. Dang, man. Up to five. They're faster than us. I'll see what you got, Mr. Opponent, sir, ma'am, them, they. Hmm. Congo? I gotta imagine their deck runs at least two of the board wipes. Oh. Shouldn't fear it too much. Nice, removed his attack. Stitch gonna trade? I'll take a trade and stitch there. Yeah, I'll take that trade. I do not want you shifting up. Tells me that they... It's either not in their hand or that's just not in the deck, period. Hmm, I always want all of my cards. We're going to see a Maximus trade for the cat here. Come on, I need two Inkables off the top. They do have the Stitch. They, did they just draw it? Uh, Mad Hatter is the next play. But those two are kind of my tech pieces. That sucks. Really gonna quest for two while well, I'm gonna quest for four. That is something. I got my ink. But it's a turn slower than I wanted it to be. Alright, boy, now you gotta really start thinking about it. Two to my five is a very bad race for you. 
Oh, never didn't have dragon fire. Of course they had dragon fire. Gonna see the trade. They understand the race is bad for them. Now it's a one to one, but I'm still in the lead. I have a lot more plays than you. Well, a lot better plays, I would assume. Based on our quest power. <laughs> Mr. Smee? Who runs Mr. Smee? Yeah, I'm just, I'll just stay in big threat mode. That's fine. I have to send everything at Mad Hatter. Mad Hatter's lethal all by himself. Well, with the Hans. These two together are lethal, so you have to deal with Mad Hatter. So you have to let me draw cards. Unless you drew a dragon fire. I don't think they drew a dragon fire. I think this game is over. Yes, I'll draw cards. Yes, I'll draw cards. <laughs> Duke of Whistleton will be so proud. Whistleton? Whistleton? Wim Wimbledon? Wimbledon. <laughs> I'll just show him the Cusco. No way you're getting out of that one. Mm. Don't skip ahead. Take this time to leave a like and subscribe and share the video. That's something you could do. You don't have to skip to the next game just because you know this one. The, 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 the writing's on the wall. It's not a good reason to skip to the next video. Alright, Cusco, you ready to win this game? Oh, they didn't even let Cusco win the game. Not bad, not bad, but... Unfortunately, I don't have a ton of time this morning, so the games Thankfully, we're a little short except for the one um, But yeah, gotta get to work gotta do stuff. So in a little bit of a hurry here uh, Just dropped off the boy from school still have to edit still have to make a thumbnail lots to do What would I change in the deck? Uh, I might bring in two copies of Aurora again uh, it, it felt like in some of those games. There's enough uh, targeted removal that having the Aurora as a as a Stand in target instead of Tinkerbell instead of genie instead of Mad Hatter They have to take out Aurora first allowing us to get the extra quests in uh, That could be nice. So I'd probably drop John Silver and genie back down to three Bring in two Aurora's and maybe there's some room in here for Hades But if we're gonna do Hades, we have to remove from our non inkables Which is only gonna be out of genie and out of Mickey. So if we take Mickey back down to three genie is a two of we'll have two Hades that removal is really nice. The bounce sometimes feels like you don't want to bounce a Tinkerbell because you don't want to get the one damage across the board again. Uh, you don't want to bounce Rapunzel's. You don't want them drawing again. You don't want to bounce Big Stitch. You don't want them drawing again. Uh, so while the bounce and the tempo in some games is exactly what you want, perfect, keeps your opponent on the back foot, constantly replaying turns, that's awesome. In other games, you're actually just helping your opponent and we don't want that. So. Those are probably the changes I would make. But take it out for a spin. Let me know what you guys think. Uh, leave a like, comment, share, subscribe, all that fun stuff. Uh, links in the description down below for my Discord. I know some of you guys have been asking lately, how do you send me links for your deck lists? There's a link for Discord down below. In my Discord channel, you're going to find a Lorcan a deck list. That's where you share them. But thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you guys tomorrow.